What we're looking at here is the new RoboCop coming out. This game looks pretty fun, looks pretty great. Uh, I guess we'll see when it finally comes out, if it really is as good as it looks. But what we're going to talk about today is the worst RoboCop game ever made. Set her alive, you are coming with me. What do you think of when you hear RoboCop 3? Is it big heads? Yeah, I'm RoboCop. Or is it this with the cool squad car? Maybe a jetpack. Maybe an awesome motorcycle. Updated version of RoboCop. Or was it this? Because if it's this, I'm sorry. Anyway, before we get into Hang on a second. Get out of here. What are you doing here? Now, what you're looking at is a good game. This is RoboCop the Arcade. This one's actually put together pretty well, you know, with the exception of it being a quarter muncher, a little bit farther you get into the game. But it's got scenes from the movie, good gameplay, responsive controls, and you know, when you get power ups and you, you actually use those power ups. Uh, they don't suck. They don't miss. They actually hit their target. Look, it's a motorcycle that hits you, but didn't kill you instantly. So it's a bit more fair than the RoboCop we're going to cover that isn't this game. The Abomination of Video Games. My most hated game. If you notice, like I said, right there, that special weapon is actually hitting the targets. It's actually working like it should. It's not just a spread of bullets missing everything. I died. And I continue here. And look! I'm where I died. I have a little bit of invincibility so I don't just immediately get pwned on. And also look, I'm pointing up and shooting enemies at diagonally or straight up without having to use a completely separate button like the terrible RoboCop 3. And you'll see gameplay of the worst game ever made. Also, this boss isn't the worst boss ever to fight in the beginning of the game. It should never be like that. RoboCop 3, damn near impossible to even get to the end of the first level of the game. This one's RoboCop 2. The arcade. Another good game. Um, can also be a little Robocop. bit of a quarter muncher Robocop. when it comes Robocop. to getting farther in the game. Uh, Robocop. Pretty Robocop. funny when you press the coins multiple times, it says Robocop repeatedly. Like, that way you don't forget his name. Anyway, you got this little, little snatch, just real quick. We're going to skip all that. So we get the game play. The difference between this one and the first game is you have two attack buttons and another one just for jump. Now, obviously the two attack buttons are two different directions, so you got right and left to fire. So that's probably about the only thing you really got to get used to when you play this. Uh, but other than that, the game plays smooth. Robocop looks bigger. He doesn't look stupid, though. He looks proportionate. The first game we looked at, he looked proportionate. Um, here they got kind of a cool looking, uh, well for the time, cool looking 3D kind of alleyway gunfight. Um, again, fun time waster, just a shooter, side scroller. I'm a huge fan of these, along with beat em ups. It also has scenes from a movie. The first game also had scenes from the movie, that's one thing. They did really good in arcades when they came out with games to movie games. Now, it didn't always happen in, in home consoles, and you'll see when we look at Golden Cop 3. But yes, this game took that directly from the movie. Here we have Robocop on Nintendo. Uh, the original Nintendo. NES. 
I remember when I first saw this game, um, I thought this game was pretty awesome for what it was. We got scenes from the movie again, and actually some from the comic if I remember right. Um, but this one follows pretty close, as much as it can, uh, to the movie for an 8-bit system. And uh, tries to be kind of like an arcade. It's made by the same people, Daddy East. Uh, so they tried. They tried. Now, I think his punch is kind of terrible as I try this. His punch is a little bit... It's a little bit wacky. You can see every time he punches, it's kind of up. Now, at least the hitbox isn't terrible. Um, so when I duck to hit a dog or something, it's not going to sit there and, and go over the dog's head. I hate it when they design games like that. Uh, but one of my biggest things, I don't know if you noticed that, but me trying to go Hang up on his a down Did that power up just go up his butt? Because, of course, it's an old system. It's Nintendo. Now, back in the day, this is all we really had. And we had to make the best of what we had. Now, the music, too, kind of repeats itself. But I don't mind it so much because it's actually... It doesn't sound terrible. Let's just put it that way. It doesn't sound terrible. And it's actually from the movie. And a lot of games back then especially would make up their own score. And I don't want to get a game that I'm going to buy. Even if, you know, I'm going to go buy Robocop 3. I don't want to hear some made up score. Because then it doesn't feel like you're really playing Robocop. You're, you're playing something completely different. A fraud. That's a huge and nobody game. likes frauds. Not in real life. Not in video games. Now this one's Robocop 2 on Nintendo, the original NES. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Robocop, that's not very nice. Flipping us off now. Now I know this game's not the greatest. You don't have to do that. At least you're not part 3. That's better. You put that away. Now, this game's graphics are better than the first one on Nintendo, but I do not like this game. It's, it's like you're walking on oil or an ice skating rink. Like, the whole thing is like a ice level for some reason. And if you look, I mean, I'm not even pressing anything now after I let go of the controls and you slide. I mean, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's terrible. You just slide right off. Look, I couldn't even stop. The jumping is a little weird, too. Yeah, this one, this one I won't even try to get to the first boss. I won't even try to go any farther. I mean, back then and now when this came out, I did not have any desire to play this game. I mean, you can't even make the first jump. It's so bad. You have to have a running start with the path that's clear to make it. Because if you don't run, you'll just die. See how close that was? Now, I'll show you when you do it from a running type of, I don't even know if you can consider it running, it's just like you're you're sliding. But it, it's pretty bad. This one's pretty bad, so I'm just gonna kill myself there. This is RoboCop 3 on Nintendo. Not on Super Nintendo. Um, it's got its problems. Like uh, this here coming up. RoboCop's neck, what is that? What is wrong? with his neck. Even on here, he's kind of... But, I'll tell you, gameplay-wise, this game controls better, and it's older than a Super Nintendo, and it controls better than the Super Nintendo. Because once again, you can shoot forward by just shooting, pressing up by pressing up and shooting, not a separate button. It actually controls pretty good on here. Now, is it a good game? No. It's terrible, but it's not as bad as the one you're about to see. Oh boy, that's my favorite game! Hey look, it's Anal Cop 3. Oh, I mean RoboCop 3. I'm sorry. Yeah, I get that mixed up, you know? I love how it goes from RoboCop 3 immediately to options. And then you start going here and you're like, oh, what are my options? Oh, music? Sound effects? Oh, 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 it left. <laughs> it did that itself. This game is terrible. It's tear eyeball.
It brings tears to my eyeball. All right, so everybody has a game they hate, all right? And this is mine. This is the worst game I've ever played in my whole life. Oh my god, he's a bullet sponge. Everything on the screen hits him. Absolutely terrible. I'm just gonna go through it so you can see how crappy this game is. Look at that power up! Miss, miss. Oh, but they hit me though. Wow, dude. When did Robocop ever fight shirtless dudes? And when did he get tea bad oh, yeah. by robot balls? It's robot balls. See, look, I'm already half dead. I'm sorry, more than half dead. The robot balls did it. I mean, every bullet on screen has to hit him once. Can't even duck. Then why, why do shirtless dudes take so many damn bullets? Look at this. Oh, it touched me and almost killed me. Oh, look at that. He breathed on me and I almost died. It's ridiculous. There's a whole separate button to shoot up. You can't just point up and shoot. No, you gotta you gotta use a different button. And why does he shoot like that? Look at this. Hey, hey you. Hey you guys. I mean that's stupid. Oh yeah. Hey there, Robocop. I heard you like shirtless men. Well, let me get up close and personal. Oh my god. Somebody yes. help me. Is that lube? That's not Don't lube. Stop that putting that there. Up, mm. up. Oh, oh, the shirtless man touched him, so he died. Oh my god. Well, that didn't turn him on. That turned him completely off, didn't it? <laughs> Stupid. Oh, hey. That robot, it's off screen, but it can still hit me. I can't hit it. That's another thing about this game. Look at that. Just started the game. See my life? Already almost dead. And look at this power up. It's missing, but he hits me right in my big, giant, big ass head. Big ass, retarded, <laughs> stupid Robocop. Bad Robocop. Look at my massive head. Moron. Wow. Yeah, this game is just terrible. Giant robot balls. Who who put this in here? Why? Why is there two balls? It's like it's literally teabagging you. Look at this. Two balls in the game, they know what they're doing. They knew this game was bad, so they put two balls in here. Teabagging. <laughs> wow. And then you got Robocop, die with his big massive forehead. <laughs> Pointing, throwing his bullets at him. Oh, here, catch. Catch. Oh, that looks so stupid. Look at that shoot. Look at that shooting animation. Die. Derp, 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 derp. Da derp derp, dop dop derp derp. Really? That's so stupid. Nope. Every bullet's got to hit him. Every bullet. Every single bullet has to hit him. Better get away from the <laughs> scary motorcycle. Oh, touched me. I'm almost dead. The worst game. 
Oh, what missed. A load of bolt. And if you notice, when you die, you start all over again at the very beginning of the, the level. So your your extra guys, they're nothing but continues. And then you have continues. So it's not like ex the extra guys are actually anything. Look at that. I killed him in the little rocket it shot out, the heat-seeking Robocop missile. Just keeps following you. Oh, don't get teabagged. Boom, boom. Oh, teabag. Now watch this. See that? It's off screen. It's still firing them. And of course, he's going to die now. I don't really give a... Oh, the best screen in the game, I'm telling you, right there. It's the best screen in the game. Yeah, I'm not going to put my name on this game. Hell no. <laughs> they give you infinite continues because they know you'll die infinite times. And the game is so bad that it don't even give you time to start. If you notice, look at that rocket. It hits you. He's not even on screen. A heat-seeking RoboCop missile. It will follow you through the entire level. I just started the game, and I'm already dead. Look at this. Watch. He'll start shooting me. Oh, look. Just started the game. What kind of crap is this? This is a sandwich. That's what it is. This game, if I was trying to have a good time, like a legit wanted to play this game, I would not be having the time of my life. This is a game that you would use to interrogate people. You would put them in a room, make them play this, until they gave you the answers you wanted. And I'm telling you, in five minutes, they would be screaming. No more. It is that bad. The hit detection's terrible. I mean, why does it take so many bullets for Robocop to kill shirtless dudes? They have no body armor. But the naked dude, the half-naked dude will come up and touch you and your life will drain. You could tell by the uh, motorcycles there. That shouldn't have happened. But you know, he's Robocop. He's an advanced policeman, you know? Look at this, watch. A shirtless dude touched me and I died. Here we go. Here comes the storm. I just started. Half dead. I mean, I don't even want to. I don't even want to go any farther in this game. I there is other levels. I mean, believe it or not, there's other levels, you know. But it's this is all you're gonna see. The most you're gonna see this because this game it just does things like. I'll have to show you the next time I get the chance to. Even if you shoot him off the bike, you still get killed by the bike. How stupid is this game? This game is, is terrible. Worst game I've ever played in my entire life. And again, I've played some pretty bad games. This one is worse. I mean, I, I can't believe that at the start of the game, the start of the game, you're already almost half dead. And they thought, they thought, this game's supposed to be for kids, all right? They thought that was a good idea to make this game like this, this bad. 
it'd be more enjoyable to shove glass shards in your eyeballs, okay? That's how terrible this game is. Oh, did you see that? That's what I wanted to show you. I blew up my... I'll do it again. See that? You can shoot your power up. So not only does the game rape you over, okay, it also does it on your power-up, so you can accidentally shoot your power-ups. Stupid! So you have to make the game as bad as they possibly could. Oh, let's give them a hug. I mean, this is terrible. That rocket went right up his butt. Right, right there. Spot. Uh oh! I mean, why do these things have to take so many bullets? Especially if your main gun runs out of ammo. And when was there ever shirtless dudes with these weird ass things that don't even look like rocket launchers that somehow take 50 million bullets when they have shirts off? They don't even have body armor on. Oh! <laughs> he killed me. I almost made it. Wow, look at that. Look at all that life that's already gone. Now you can get through this game if you're extra careful, but... I hate this game so much, I really don't care. And why does it take two punches on a shirtless dude in the balls? He still hit me, he wasn't even close to me. And it was still hitting me. Pretty amazing. No. Oh, death. <laughs> he committed suicide. He said he couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> well, I don't think I can go any farther. I can tell you that this game did meet the fate of my brick hammer. When I bought this um, many summers ago, I used to be bricklayer. And this game was sitting on the shelf in a uh, local gamer's store, used game store, and uh, I bought it. Brought it home thinking, because I looked at the box and thought that it was a good shoot 'em up uh, or a beat 'em up. At least that's what it looked like on the box. Um, but getting into the game, obviously, you see what it actually was. No, it took me, I don't even know how long. To actually maybe a day to decide to kill it and my best friend tried to convince me to take it back to get my money back and I told him I said I wouldn't even give this to my worst enemy I can't let this game fall into somebody else's hands so I took it out back set it on a brick because that's appropriate with the brick hammer got my brick hammer out and destroyed it now just for fun, just for you guys, and for old time's sake, for me, yes, I'm rubbing my hands right now, I bought another copy, just to show you what I did to it, just to smash it again. So we got a kitty as a guest star, who apparently ran off. This game met the fate of this. Now we're going to rate it today. One through five rating. This game gets the rating of. <laughs> Fatality. So this is my most hated game. I want to know what your game is. And what you hate. And what you may have smashed in your lifetime.